too old, my tusk. I'll show him too old. What's this? Another stranger strutting into my town? Perfect. I'll probably give you the mayor's job. Experience? Ooh, you don't need that. Just ask the new constable. Me? No. Why would I be frustrated? Ten years as town constable and the mayor just up and decides to fire me the other day. Can you imagine? Says I'm getting too old and the new constable will do a better job. The dumb heat bastard. That's the thing, no one even knows him. Uh, Govindian, that's his name. He and his bailiff sauntered into town last week and now he's constable? Something smells wrong. Say, think you could poke around and try to find out what's really going on? Sad times when I have to rely on a stranger. But I do appreciate you asking around. The mayor, the jeweler, the miller, they're all acting strangely. There's something they're not saying. I'll be back at the inn if you learn anything. You have to understand, I've known these people for years. Shared drinks with them, gone fishing. I thought we were friends. Then all of a sudden, the mayor fires me. And now, no one even has two words to spare. To me, that's strange. My drinking? My Moloch, no! I haven't had a drop in years until this happened. I quit a long time ago, after I woke up with a skinny little wood elf in my bed. Hmm. As for today, this is my last drink. <sighs> well, maybe one more. There is no choice in the matter. The constable says we need your wagons and your horse. But, but what will I do? If I can't haul grain, I can't make any coin. My family will starve. Have you forgotten? You do want us to keep your family safe, do you not? I suggest you close your mouth. What an oblivion do you want? Unless you can haul it yourself, don't tell me you have a load of grain that needs to be ground at the mill. The constable's deputy just confiscated my damn wagon. Look, I don't know you and I don't need you meddling in my personal affairs. I'm not looking for trouble, and I'm not saying a single damn word about the new constable. You'll mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Welcome to Fell's Run. Normally, we'd welcome you with open arms and throw a feast, but not this year. We had a terrible harvest and times are hard. Might be better if you moved on and spent the night in North Point. Come back next year. She caught you out at the edge of town, eh? She feels betrayed, I know. I hope someday she understands. The last thing I wanted to do was hurt her. My wife and I both have always treasured her friendship. My wife? Oh, she doesn't exactly know. Well, she's been sick. Yes, she's sick. Hasn't left the house for days, poor thing. Yes, I should actually get in there and check on her. No time for idle gossip. Take care now. I think perhaps it's best if you go ahead and close up the shop early today, Lady Mandori. In fact, why don't you go ahead and do that now? 
Yes, Constable Gavendir. I'll close up right away. Just don't do anything rash. Ah, a stranger in town. I was just saying how we needed more strangers around here. You know, walking around bothering people who are just trying to do an honest day's work. Is that the kind of stranger you are, friend? No. No, not at all. Of course not. You're as welcome here as anyone else. Unless you cause some kind of trouble. There's a new constable in town and some things are going to change. That's all I'm saying. I'll be watching you, friend. Oh, hello there. You must be new in town. I'm sorry, but the jewelry shop is closed for today. Constable Govendir's orders. Oh, uh, I think he's worried about security. Yes, with the rumors of bandits robbing people on the road, we have to be careful. There's supposed to be a big parcel of amethysts coming in from the mine, too. Gods, I hope it gets here safely. Strange? No, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Why would you ask? Oh, well, there's, there's Gaspar. He's a little soft in the head. He's run out of town and refuses to come back. I worry about him. He, he really should go back home. No, I'm not coming. No, no, I'm not. Don't even ask. I'll come back, but only when Gaylord says it's safe. Yes, that's right. Only when Gaylord says. Gaylord told me to stay right here until then. Gaylord is my friend. He looks after me since my parents died. Gaylord said it isn't safe in town. Oh, no. Oh, that constable. Gaylord recognized him from Daggerfall. Said he was a bad man. Gaylard went to meet the constable, but never came back. Gaylard went to meet the constable in the constable's new house. Just there, to the south. Used to be the fisherman's house, but the constable took it. The fisherman just went away. I hope Gaylard didn't go away too. Three loaves of bread and I'm still foggy. I don't care what happens. Remind me to never drink that rum posset again. You were asking around town, though, about that toothless run of a constable. Did you learn anything? Hmm. Hostages? <laughs> I knew those bastards were up to something. Damn. Constable Gavendian just left here with Lady Mondori. Bailiff Sagabar is still upstairs, though. We should try to get into his room and see what else we can find. Well, I bought this sleeping draft so I could sleep off this headache, but I guess I won't be napping now. Take it upstairs and find a way to distract Sagabar. Slip it into his drink. Then follow him into his room before he passes out. Look, I have just about ha- Oh, sorry. I thought you were that lecherous bailiff again. He tries to grope me every time I bring him a drink. Gall and pox, of course not. I'm a barmaid, not a strumpet. 
Besides, I know his type. He may talk sweet, but get him behind closed doors and he turns mean. I try to avoid his kind. What, from looking at my bottom? If I knew how to make him stop, I would have done it hours ago. No, I just want him to leave me alone. What do you say? You interested in having a bit of a laugh? I developed this little trinket to summon a banekin. I thought it would impress the Archmage, but instead it got me kicked out of the Mage's College. I was thinking of testing the trinket here. You know, to frighten someone and have a laugh. Here. I was thinking the barmaid. But if you're crazy enough to try it on the bailiff, all the better. Depending on how it works, maybe I'll go into business selling these things. Let's see how it works. You know, I've been drinking at this inn for years, and I always sit in the same chair, right over there. But that bothersome new bailiff made me leave. Said the table is his, and I should just drink over here. What an arse. No, not me. I'm not what you'd call a brave man. When someone insults me, I much prefer to just send dirty looks and bad thoughts in their direction. Oh, sweet Tuwaka, save me. It's a Bankin. Suddenly, I don't feel so well. Now that my skull stopped pounding, I'm ready to crack someone else's. Did you find anything in that Red Guard's room? Do we know where they're holding the hostages? All right, we've got to go get them. That's the most important thing. Did you find anything to explain why Gavendian went to all this trouble? He didn't do it so he could just steal my job, did he? Then maybe I should stay here and rouse the bailiff. My head's clear, but my legs are still wobbly. You go to the old mill and free the hostages, while I drag Sagabar to the stocks. He'll tell me what they're planning, one way or another. With all the troubles in Rivenspire, it's always good to know I can come to the run for a stiff drink. Did you kick that stupid thug's teeth in? I don't know what was worse, being held hostage or smelling that ruffian's breath. What about the robbery, though? Did you stop them, or did they get away with the jewels? You didn't know? That's why they were holding us. 
Gavendian was waiting for Lauraviv Mondori's big amethyst parcel to come in. He was holding the three of us hostage to keep the town in line. Hours ago, that thug Bullzog was actually going to execute us if he didn't hear from that crooked constable soon. You really came just in time. We should hurry into town and see if we can't stop Gavendian. Gavendian did it all for the jewels and got away with it too. Yeah, he got me good. I'll survive, but he cut Lorviv's throat. He didn't have to. He just did it to prove a point. I thought I could be cool, but he is a monster. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe if I hadn't confronted him, he wouldn't have killed her. At least the hostages are all right. You did your part, and you did it well. We can't let that maggot-eating bastard Govendian get away with this. Old Sagabar wasn't so tough after he got into the stocks. He told me where Govendian went, where their camp is. What I want to do is go after Govendian myself, but that's not going to happen anytime soon, and I don't want him to slip away. If you're willing, then yes. Do whatever it takes. Just put him down. Oh, and retrieve the jewels, too. I thought that if we just cooperated with them, everything would work out and no one would be hurt. Now I know. I will never bargain with bandits again. I feel terrible. Poor Laura Vive. To die so young and so needlessly, it just isn't right. Why? Why would they kill her? She was cooperating. She gave them the jewels. If I was a few years younger, I'd go after Gavendon myself. That rotten coward. Killing an innocent woman. He deserves to die. Someone needs to find that man Gavendian and make him pay. Go on, then. The bandits could be pulling up camp as we speak. If Govendian gets away, I'll never forgive myself.
this out. They always come after me, and they always die. Sagabar and I were just making bets on whether you'd return. Looks like Sagabar's a two-time loser. Did you do it then? Did you kill Gavendian? Thank you. I suppose it will do little to console young Reuben, but at least we can give Lady Mondori a proper funeral. I got my job back. The mayor's even increased my wages. You have my gratitude. By Moloch, you have the whole town's gratitude. You. You were the one who slipped that draft into my mug, were you not? I cannot believe I fell for that. This isn't right, you know. It was the oppressiveness of Red Guard society that drove me to become a bandit. Yeah, I blame society. 